Hello, Kit Heads. Welcome back. We are Talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. That's what I like to say. Sometimes it's awkward when there's other kit content creators next to me. I say that. Hey, but you got to have them humble, humble brags. It's, you know, you know, and, and, you know, my guests would exactly say the same and I would tend to agree with him. Uh, yeah, no, we are back for another edition, another episode of, for me, one of the greatest... I, I really feel like I'm big headed here. I'm not saying it like that. I just mean I love it. It's my favorite. There's Alan Kitts. That's what we're back for. We sit down with the legends that are littered throughout the kit community and we sit down and force them to choose five shirts from their collections that they will take to a desert island with them. I'm so, I say it every episode almost. I'm so happy that I don't have to do this. This is Sophie's choice. For football shirt collectors, I won't want to be in that position. That's why I'm I'm sat here, and they're sat there, and they have to do it. It's uh, my pleasure to watch them squirm and have to pick five shirts from their collection. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you smash in a like on the video, share it with your kit loving friends as well. Come on, and also as well as that, it's free to do. Just subscribe to the channel, become a kit head, join the community. 2023 is going to be a big year for this channel. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, and I need you to show that love as well. So yeah, come on, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss anything that we're dropping. Two videos a week at the moment. We know we're really putting that work in, so it's good if you come along for the ride. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let's get this week's guest introduced. I think everyone should pretty much who is into kit content will know this guy. This guy is, he's one of the reasons I want to be better. He is. I'll let him be messy. He's the messy to my Ronaldo. I'm the, you know, he's a. <laughs> he a I wasn't going to say Ronaldo because of the United connections. It's, it's better that I, I'm, I'm Ronaldo. But yeah, he really is. You know, I watch his videos and I get inspired every single time. And he's one of my favorite people, not just in the kit community, but, you know, he's a great person overall. Class him as a friend. You know, it's great what football shirts can do and bring you close to people. Is of course, the one only. It's that goddamn kit man, man. What are you saying, bro? Yo, what's happening, my brother? Double A. How are you, bro? Oh, I, I'm I'm all good, man. I'm I'm really well, and I'm finally happy that we're doing this. There's Alan Kits together, mate. It's one. I, I write a list down of people I can't wait to speak to. In any, in your full kit rankers, it's di very different to this show. But when I was making this show and thinking, who would I love to speak about? I'm, I'm not just saying it because you're here, but. Genuinely, one of the first names I wrote down on the list, mate. So it's a pleasure that you're you're happy to do it and be here with us. Yeah, man. Listen, anytime, anytime, man. Like you said, like I classify you as a friend now, man. Like, and it is deeper than football shirts. We got like a deep love for nineties hip hop. Yeah, man. Um, we're both fathers. Like, yeah, man. That's what this community is about. How easy was it to pick your five? Was it a struggle or? Um. So no, it was impossible. Um, I've got somewhere in the region of about 200 shirts. Um, yeah. And I would say out of the 200, probably about 150 of them have connection and meaning. And like, I look at it and it evokes emotions. Yeah. Um, with another 50 or so that I just love the look of. And it's really hard trying to strike the balance between what I love the look of yeah. and what means the most and then the ones that kind of have both. It's a wonderful collection that you've you've amassed so far, mate. 200 shirts is a really nice, really nice number to have. I'm not, yeah, we are, absolutely. Mate. I'm not I'm not, I've <laughs> not even got a hundred yet. And it's already there's tension there in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a package comes, or this is come. <laughs> I get a WhatsApp. This is come for you. Like, oh, all right, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, Especially when they all come in a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> when you get a little hot streak. One came and I went, that's delivery one of five. And she went, what? I went, uh, okay. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> uh, we, we, you know what? We probably all will end up on a desert island at some point I, I, with our shirts. There's going to be ships there. It's not the case with... <laughs> Go off, you go. Take your shit. Yeah, like they, 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 all, all of our, all of our partners will come together, and they'll just mm -hmm. be like, Do you know what? Just get rid of them. Just, just, just send them <laughs> to this desert island. Yeah, I think so. I think we, as, as, as kit collectors, we should, we should start a sort of like, um, 
widowers and widows of football shirt collectors. Like them have a little <laughs> that would group. actually be hilarious. Oh, and they can have WhatsApp and Mo. Oh, he's bought that King Corinthians again. Oh, I'll tell you what. Why they need it in long sleeve and a, short sleeve? I mean, yeah. They should be our negotiators for shirt prices. They should handle all of and get the best prices. Well, Probably what? save us a whole lot of money. He's, he's not. He's not paying that. He's absolutely not paying that. <laughs> Knock it now. He's, Have right, you seen right. the price of heating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to the five, if any. Honourable mentions, any couple that may have just missed out from yeah. the final list? Uh, I've got a few here. Um, so the first one that didn't quite make it is this France 98. Yeah. Um, right, with Thierry Henry on the back. When I think of my football history, the year 1998 is probably the most important year for me. Yeah. Um, I've probably got more kits from the year 1998. That's aside from my World Cup 98 collection. Where I've got <laughs> pretty much all of them. I remember him being like really playful on the pitch. Uh, was it Zidane? I think it was like a penalty shootout and he like runs up behind Zidane and like whispers in his ear and that like, I just, he stood out and then his goal celebration yeah. when he holds onto the corner flag. Yeah, but that World Cup for me is everything. Yeah, could be in anyone's list that shirt. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Is there any others? That you... Yeah, so I've got two more, yeah, right? right? So on the same theme of World Cup 98, this guy, Renato, I couldn't pick which one. Yeah, no, nah, I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you um, didn't. Whether I wanted the nine or the ten. And you want to know a really funny story about these two shirts? Always. I won both of them in raffles from raffles, the same oh. guy. Wow. Mate, <laughs> well, I'm both Mate. of them from the football shirt plug. These <laughs> were very close to entering because Ronaldo is yeah, he, he's my he's my second favorite player of all time. <laughs> Three great shirts again, you know, would be in a lot of people's lists for for sure. So let's get into it then. The nitty gritty number yep. five on your list. Number five on my list is this uh, Deportivo uh, Pina Ibiza. I think they're called. They're like a third division. Spanish team from yeah. the island of Ibiza. This shirt is basically everything that I am as a human being. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite a spiritual person. And if you can see, there's like a Buddha chilling on there. I'm a music man. Yeah. Like, I love my music. I love uh, house music, hip hop, R&B, reggae, like you name it across the spectrum. Like yeah. I love music. I love to rave and party. Um, been at Ibiza a few times. And I'm a huge football fan and shirt collector. So this shirt literally brings everything together. Like I, I was a DJ and everything. I've even got um, a, a turntable tattooed on my arm and that. So the, yeah, so this shirt is everything so that I need on a desert island. Great first pick, mate. Absolutely nailed on a great start. So what's number four on right. your list? Number four, I apologize. It's the Arsenal away from 1997, 98. Yeah with Manny Petit on it. When you think of your first memories or whatever, it's really difficult to kind of dig through the file effects in your brain. But I do think that, all right, so my first ever football memory was Euro 96. Yeah. But my first season of loving and wanting to be involved in football and watching was the 1997-98 yeah. season. Okay. And um, I remember the home game between Arsenal and Manchester United uh, Arsenal went 2-0 up. I think it was Anelka and possibly Burkamp. And then Sheringham scored two to bring it back to 2-2. Two -two. This yeah. is the home game. I was like sweating, like I'm nine years old or eight years old. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, we're supposed to be winning. What's, what's, who's this Sheringham <laughs> guy? Like, what's, what's going on? And then um, David Platt popped up with like a last minute header. A header and yeah. I was involved in that season because, like, the commentators were saying, oh, well, that, you know, Arsenal. Because we, like, I was actually looking at the league table for that season and Arsenal worked great. We lost a lot of games. Like, we yeah. got beat 4-0 by Liverpool. We lost to, oh, we, we, we lost to, like, Blackburn that season. Like, it was a weird season. Like, now, if that was now, <laughs> we'll be sitting where Chelsea are sitting <laughs> and Liverpool are sitting. But yeah, yeah. we won the league. And then um, this shirt... 
was soccer Saturday. I remember being at my nan's house, me and my nan sitting down. It was like a midday kickoff or something like that on a Saturday morning. Yeah. And Arsenal go up there and it was like Arsenal United. This one's going to decide the Premier League. And I, and I was fully engrossed. And then yeah. Mark Overmars popped up. I'm sorry, like I make you relive. No, no. <laughs> but it's, it, it's a long time ago. I mean, I see, I look at that shit. I don't even think of Overmars. I don't even think of that game. Do you know what I think of when I see it? The cool. guy celebrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the curly hair. Look yeah, like yeah, yeah. red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But that is the iconic moment oh, yeah, of yeah. football. And I did also think about the desert island theme because it is kind it's of like, like kind of looks like a beach. But um, yeah, this yeah. shirt is up there. One of my yeah. favourite ever shirts. It's a nice, it's a nice shirt. I don't have any feelings when I look at it other than despair and heartbreak. But that's fine, mate. I mean... <laughs> It's not my list, is it? A great second pick, mate, there for your Desert Island kit. So, shirt number three, what you what you drawing for? Shirt number three is, yeah. is Dortmund 1994. That's why I'm wearing this, by the way. And I've got a <laughs> Dortmund shirt on underneath. Dortmund are a really weird team because in the 90s i don't really didn't really watch german football no i don't think anyone did i don't but, think even germans watched it <laughs> but <laughs> like this stuck out to me yeah neon yellow yeah. um not even necessarily the shirt just the neon era of Borussia dortmund just stuck oh, out to me yeah. and burnt into my brain basically um yeah. and i became a kit collector before even i was a kit collector Dortmund neon was like top of my list. Like I didn't care mm-hmm. which one. Getting to know the guy that actually created the shirts and designed the shirts, Drake Ramberg. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Night premiere stuff from that era. You know, I've said it to people before. Like if ET was to come down from, from space and said to you, listen, I need you to pick 10 football shirts that you think best describe the whole entire genre or the whole entire collection. There's certain shirts you would have to put in there. And I think any of the Dortmund night is is one that would be in the tent. Because it just catches your eye. I mean, yeah. this design is ridiculous. And I did also think uh, if I was stuck on a desert island and I was there for too long, I could just like put this one on and fly away. Yeah, there's that. And you'd also, the sun hits you right, mate. You're getting seen from all sorts of angles. Yeah, that, do you know that is exactly also <laughs> the reason what I was thinking. I was like, do you know what? If I'm, if I'm having enough of being isolated. Yeah, um, man. Yeah. Throw it on and then rescue bolts will be there in no time. All right, then. So let's get into shirt number two, then, mate. What are you, what are you drawing for next? What are you giving us? So a- I am going for probably my favorite shirt in my collection, um, my absolute grail. And it is, I've spoken about it in this channel before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Fiorentina 98 with <sighs> Batty Goal, Batty Stewart on the back. This is one of those shirts that was just burnt into my consciousness. I don't remember watching a huge amount of Fiorentina nope. in this year or before that. I mean, I remember watching more Juventus yeah. um, from that year with Zidane and Davids. But it is everything Absolutely. in a football shirt. I, I, again, I'm not entirely sure why, but it just evokes something in me. Uh, maybe it's because of Nintendo, and I was a Nintendo guy rather than a Sega guy. Like I've still got my Super Nintendo. Also, purple shirts do stand out because there's not many. Yeah. This was top. This is my grail, my absolute. And I did also think, stuck on the desert island, you know, play a bit of Nintendo. <laughs> why not? Pass why some not? time. Absolutely. What else could you do? A bit of Mario Kart? Sounds oh, I see Mar- Yeah, nice. I, I think it's it's just it's a it's a combination of everything and the sponsor. Yeah, and it's quite a plain shirt. Like I'm a lover of like loud and busy shirts, like the uh, the Oakland Root shirt in the background, which yeah. I also have. Yeah, uh, and even that PSG shirt that you got on. Sometimes well, I, think, I think it's the elegance and the subtlety that within it, it doesn't have to bang. It doesn't have to be extravagant. The Nintendo, like you know, a lot of people don't like sponsors being drawing your eye in a shirt but when it's like that and it's yeah and it just ties into the cross like the red cross on on the badge and on this yeah Yeah. it's it's a beautiful shirt another perfect one to have in your collection so we've gone through four let's get down to the final what could be number one what is the one shirt you would have to take with you to a desert island The, 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 the number one shirt isn't so much about 
the shirt. Okay. It's about what's on the shirt. And it kind of comes in a pair because I'd be doing it dis- it, dis- it disjustice. I've kind of broken the rules a little bit. Yeah. So right. my top one is two. Right. Okay. okay. So this one in the front, yeah. I will discard if needs be. It's good. Um, it's Brazil and Ronaldo, it's staying. Don't you don't you want that? <laughs> so I, I've spoken a lot about World Cup 98 and Ronaldo, yeah. so I don't need to go on about it. But what I do need to go on about is the guy who painted this on to yeah. my shirt. I love that guy. Shirt, let's see. Yeah. Man, like Jacob. What a guy. What what a guy. Sorry, but like, have a look. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Unbelievable, mate. And, and every time he posts something, I, I, I'm in his DMs or I share it and he, we have a chat. I, I, just, have to, I, I just have to send him love arts because I'm like, he he has made me like a Liverpool shirt. No one can do that. He's a genius. He, 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 is, he actually is a genius. Like, um, So I'll go on to the first time I actually came into contact with him. But um, th- this is the number one shirt. Yeah. Um, I spoke about my favourite ever player being Ian Wright. I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I came across, do you know what I think it was? I'm, I'm pretty sure the Notorious B.I.G. shirt. Um, he painted NYC. N- NYC. NYC, yeah. And um, with Notorious, I was like, oh, what's this? This is interesting. Yeah, and then yeah. I went through and I was like, just blown away. My eyes were just like, wow. Like, just <laughs> double tap, double tap, double tap, yeah, double yeah, tap, yeah. double tap, double tap. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Because <laughs> it just captures moments yeah. on yeah football shirts and um so i reached out to him and i was like oh like i love your work blah 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 like i'm a content creator like i want to make a video about one of your shirts he came back to me like all excited he was like yeah like definitely i'd love to work with you blah 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 he's like do you know what you want do you know what shirt you want to do it on and at the time sports direct had this arsenal shirt like 13 quid or 15 quid on their site so i got Jake, like sent him the money and told him to order it straight to his house and whatever. And we had about three or four um, potential designs. And I said, you know what surprised me? But it was, yeah, it was like either Henri or um, Ian Wright or just different Arsenal related things. And um, he sent me this, I opened it and I was in love. In the video, I cheekily said, ah, all I need now is for Ian Wright to to meet Ian Wright and get him to sign it. So a couple of weeks later, I'm scrolling through Instagram and classic football shirts post up that they're doing a meet and greet with Ian Wright and that he will be able to sign a copy of the book and um, one other piece. Yeah, I took it in to see Ian Wright. And even he loved it. He posted it on his Instagram page, in his story and that, because he loved it. And I was like, no, I was like, make sure you have to tag Art and Shirts FC. Like when I was speaking to his, um, to his social media guy, I was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you don't even really have to tag me if you don't want to, but this Make is not art. my art. Everything about this is everything. Like, this is priceless. Like, you could yeah. literally offer me, like, 10 grand, and <laughs> I, I wouldn't sell it. That's a spectacular five. Thank you so much for spending some time and showing us and showcasing some, some amazing on, pictures from, from, your, from your collection. If I had to, you had to whittle it down to one shirt, I think I know where it might go, but the other four are drifting away. Oh, they're all five in the water, oh. drifting away. You can only grab one. You've got something else in your hand. You can only grab one. Which one are you grabbing? What have I got in my hand, by the way? Um, <laughs> your food. Food or something you can't live without. And then you've got... Oh, I know what it is. You're holding on to a boat that's going to oh. take you back to civilization. The four, the five shirts are in the water. You can only grab one. What's it going to be? It would have to be this because, like, this is literally a one-off. Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be that. The other ones will cost me a fortune, but I'd be able to find again. But that one's got Ian Wright's signature and all sorts. Kit Manor, man. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank and, you, man. Uh, it's always a pleasure. It's, uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Make sure you go and check out uh, Kit Manor, man's YouTube channel. The link will, of course, be in the description. Again, one of my favorite content creators. So you have to make sure you go and support him. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We'll be back for another Desert Island Kits where we're grabbing someone from the kit community to make sure or make them pick five shirts from their collection. We've also got full kit rankers. Make sure you go and check that out as well. And if it, obviously, if it is your first time talking kit, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your kit-loving friends. Why not? 
We'll be back very, very soon. But as always, you just have to make sure that you keep talking kit. Thank you.